Hello reading friends! We're back for the second video of six videos of um, the video tutorial where we read together this little cute mouse. Today we will do the face. If you haven't seen the first video you should check it out so you will know how this tutorial is structured and what materials you need. If you have everything ready uh, let's uh, start beating. Let's start by cutting off about 15 centimeters from the nylon thread. We need the shadow color. Uh, we start with the eye section. Um, take three beads on your needle, go through the beads again and make a really weak knot. Then put the eye through the middle between the beads and it should look something like that. If you use buttons you can just skip this and Go further with the next step by taking two beads and going with your needle through the second bead of the first row. Then we take two more beads and go through the second bead of the first row. Add another two beads and then go with your needle through the third bead of the first row and through the first bead of the second row. It should look something like this. As you can see, we are kind of creating a triangle. And at the end of the triangles, we always add two beads at the time. And on the sides of the triangle in the middle, we only add one bead at a time. And at the end of each row, we are going through the last bead of the last row and through the first bead of the row that we just finished. Once you've finished beading the third row, you will need the beads that you chose for the fur of the little beaded mouse. There we go, the third row is finished. And now I will continue with, in my case, the light color for the fur of the mouse as uh, usual, as you already know, by adding two beads at the ends of the triangle and one bead at a time on the sides in the middle. Here we go, we finished the fourth row and we start the fifth one, which goes as you already know. Add two beads at the ends of the triangle and one bead at a time in the middle. And then once you finished the fifth row, you will need to do the steps, all the previous steps, again a second time to repeat it so we have two beaded eyes for the mouse. If you use buttons as eyes, this is the moment when you need to pause the video and see how you can attach the button to the middle of the triangle that we already beaded. If you have troubles with that, you can send me a picture and we will figure it out. You can simply sew the button to the beaded texture as you would do it with any other, uh, you know, texture. Yeah, this is the moment to um, apply your button eyes to the um, beads. And then afterwards you can just um, continue watching the video and beading further. At the sixth row the pattern gets a little bit more complicated, so pay attention. The first side is completely in fur color and then the second end we also do with the fur color. Then we add two beads one at a time with the cheek color that you are using. In my case it is red. Then I add two beads of the fur color and then on the next end I add one dark bead for the contouring color and one light bead. I end the row with the fur color beads. Now it should look something like that. We start the seventh row by beading one side with the fur color beads. Then on the side we are adding two beads of the fur color and then three beads one at a time of the cheek color. One bead for the, of the fur color and then one of the shadow color, a golden one in my case. And again on the side there is one contouring bead and one light bead. Finish the row with the beads that you chose for the 
fur of your mouse. Now it should look like this. We start the last and the eighth row of this part of the beaded mouse face. One side again with the fur color. Then on the end we add two fur color beads, another one bead of the fur color and then two one at a time of the cheek color. Then one bead in fur color and then two in the shadow color on this end. And then once again we finish the row with fur color beads. Now we need to repeat this with the other part of the face, but like in the mirror, so that the two parts will fit together. That's why we take on the end first the fur color bead and then a contouring bead. Let me show you real quick what to do if your nylon thread is finished and you need to add another one. Make a really really good knot and then put it on the inside of the mouse face, like this. Then beat further and when you will pass this knot section in the next row, pay attention that the knot will stay on the inside. Then you can cut the ends off. The knots will be hidden inside the mouse. If you are not sure about the mirrored pattern for the second part of the face, you can always pause the video at the end of each row where I show the result or you can slow the video down and see precisely which beads I use and where my needle goes. Sometimes the thread gets entangled between the beads. Make sure that you disentangle the thread and that it is always really tight and the beads are between each other and are not loose. If you notice that you used the wrong color and that you have, for example, um, the, a bead of the wrong color in the last row, no problem, just go back to this row, take all the beads down until this wrong bead and then bead the rows again with the correct colors. Once you finished the eighth row of this second part, compare the parts so that you'll know that the patterns are exactly the same but mirrored. Now you need to sew them together and for this you will need an additional row and you will need to bring the needle in the right position on this side. Then we beat the row in between the two parts with the fur color. It will look like this. And now you should be able to beat the two parts together really easily. And you will see immediately which bead fits into the margins between the beads. Once the two parts are sewed together, we can start beading the third one. And for this, we will uh, need the fur colored beads. We pick up three beads, go with the needle through them again and make a really tight knot. Then we add two beads Go through the second bead of the first row, adding two beads again, like we already did with the two other parts. But now we do this without the eyes and with another color. We bead the triangle with three rows of fur colored beads and then on the end of the fourth row we add two contouring beads. Then we finish the fourth row with fur colored beads again. In the next row we begin with two contour beads, add another dark bead, then we continue beading with fur colored beads until the last bead which also will be 
a contour bead. As you can see, this part is also mirrored on the sides. We take another two of the contouring beads, add a shadow bead, then another contouring bead, and lots of fur colored beads. And of course, if you are not sure about the pattern, you can always pause the video and check if your part of the face is exactly the same as mine. We start the seventh row with two contour beads, two shadow beads, one at a time, and then continue with fur colored beads. Okay, so now we start the eighth row of the third part of the face with two contour beads, two shadow beads, one contour bead, and then further fur colored beads. To sew this part together with the other parts, we need to add a row in between again. We bring the needle in the right position, then the row in between will consist of two shadow beads, one contour bead, one fur colored bead, one cheek colored bead, and two fur color beads. Now we can sew the parts together you will see immediately that the patterns will match. For the other side, we also will need to beat a row in between, bring the needle through the beads in the right position, to the other side of the third part of the face. Then add two shadow colored beads, one contour bead, one bead of the fur color, and then one bead of the cheek color if you want to have the heart cheeks on both sides. Finish the row and then sew the parts together. Once the parts are sewed together, you will see that there is a gap between the parts in the middle, so where the nose is. Go with your needle through the beads multiple times until the gap is closed. And once you are satisfied with the way that it looks, make a knot. Put the ends of the thread through the needle and with the help of the needle let the knot and the frets disappear inside the mouse, inside the face of the mouse. And then you can cut off the frets. And then we start with the last and the hardest part of today. We will beat the eyelids. For the eyelids we need the shadow color and the contour color. Unfortunately, it is rather hard to describe what we beat with words on this part, so um, just watch the video very closely. I tried to show precisely where the needle goes and what kind of beads I add. If you are not sure, write me in the comments or leave me an email or a message via social media and we will figure it out together. Of course, for this part you can also slow down the video or pause on the parts that you need to have a closer look. When we finish beading the eyelid, 
we need to make a really tight knot to secure the thread and then we put the two thread ends through the needle again lead them with the needle to the inside of the face and cut off the threads. Of course the mouse needs a second eyelid on the other side now so we will do the whole process again. Pay attention, the eyelid on this side needs to be the mirrored version of the one on the other side. So pay close attention to the video and if you have any questions feel free to ask them on all the channels and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Finish beating the eyelid with a tight knot, hide the threads inside the face and cut them off. If you didn't cut the threads from the first parts of the face, now is the time to knot them together so that the face will hold its form. And then we can cut these threads off as well. And we did it! That's it for this week! How are you doing? Is everything going all right? Have you already your little face of the mouse? I hope everything went well. I hope you understood uh, everything. If not, uh, feel free to contact me. I will answer any questions. I would love to see how your mouse turned out so far. Please send me a picture of it via email or via social media. If you want to post it in your feed or in your stories, um, remember to tag me so I will be able to see it as well and reshare it in my own feed and in my own stories. I'm also really looking forward to see you next week where we will make finish off the hat. We will make the hat and the ears. You will already see how um, it is supposed to be a mouse. I wish you a very, very nice week and uh, we'll see each other again next time. Until then, bye bye!